All right, people. I see you guys aren't taking, you know, a lot of things that I'm putting out here seriously. No, I had a couple of joints. I know you guys like, what is he doing? Just trying to see some things here real quick. I wanted to bring this one, you know, bring this one back if anybody's still on Leah. You know, I got a lot of people telling me they want Leah's and things like that because of the way 19 is. Let me tell you, this is a serious contender. Okay. Shout out to the crew for this one. Um, they know who they are. They don't really mess with me, but it's all good. Check out the video. Uh, can't believe it, man. No updates, no nothing, man. It's just, it's just working. I know a lot of people are still on Zenon, but this is another, this is another contender from the same, from the same group of people. Check it out. Everything ready to go. Let's get into the video. All right, people, if you will, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right? That means if you're feeling the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're not feeling it, you can hit the thumbs down. Whatever choice you should make, just make sure you guys comment. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you know where you're at. This is your host with the most. How's everybody doing out there? If you're new here, welcome. I'm truly glad everybody stopped by. Let's get into it, man. You know I'm back. It's snowing outside. Things is going on. Look like we got about six, seven inches or something, man. It looked like it. I don't know. I'm trying to get out there, though. Um, With the kids, you know. Whenever you guys get to a setup, please allow it a few ticks so it can do what it do. Let me find out y'all don't like my snake, man. Scales, man. That's my dude, man. One of my subscribers said, he ain't no pet. I guess he died. He can't protect me. But it is what it is. Listen, we got something nice and fresh right here. Um, As you guys can see on the screen, it comes from the Chef Wizard. Shout out JR for this one. He did a pretty good job on this one from what I see. And you know what, guys? I actually learned something. On this particular one. Do you guys see this little arrow up here? There's a little arrow. Right here. That means you have a double widget. Let me just show you. You go up once. And then you go up again. Bang. It's over. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I was always wondering. What is that? Okay. And just a heads up. If you guys want to get to the power button. <laughs> press down once. And twice and you get some selections here all right so here's the power button your search feature here your favorites your settings not really sure what that is yet but you guys probably will find out so we are dealing with this right here um now there's widgets all over the place double widgets everything pretty standard as far as, you know, how a setup goes. Let me just take you guys through it. Show you a little bit about what's going on in here. All right. And this is that new skin. Um, I think I remember I did the Lambit Light joint. And this is that same skin, so... All right, nothing, I, I mean, you know, like I tell you guys, when you guys get to, you know, a setup, man, you're not really going to have it differ, you know, too too far from the rest, all right? Uh, uh, when you get to a setup that you like, I would recommend you keep it. I would always, I, and I would always recommend you making your own setup, okay? I mean, even if you took the stock, just went stock and just put the things that you liked on there. Um, I would do that because the reason why I would do that is because things go up and down every day in this type of um, community. So if it's something that went down and you like, you know, happen to like it, you can just get rid of it and, and, and get something else. But sometimes when you get to people's setups, it's kind of hard, <coughs> especially when they have things, excuse me, especially when they have things linked up in a setup. 
it's kind of hard. It, it can get tedious. So always have your own setup, people. That's one thing you got to learn from the tank show. Always have your own setup. All right, let's let's get into some of the um. Let's get into some of the stuff here. Let me show you guys some things. Um, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you already know what what is hitting for. And you know what? I want to do this one a little bit different. Um, whenever you guys get to a setup, I'm gonna show you what's the most important thing to the least thing. All right. Now, the most important thing when you guys get to a setup, and this is straight up. After you first, if you're not going to do it before you get the setup, this is what you need to be doing, okay? First thing you want to see. Where is it? Thought I saw it. First thing you want to see, make sure, is that everything's updated and ready to go, okay? So once everything is ready to go, you should be, once you don't see any updates or anything here, you should be ready to go. But. And after that's over, what you want to actually do is go into the Wiz, okay? And the first thing you want to do is go into maintenance, all right? Next thing you want to do, you want to go to cleaning tools because you never know what was in, you know, actually what was going on, installing and things like that. Let's just clear everything, okay? All right, and then after that's done, what you want to do is go to system tweaks and fixes. Okay, now once you get the system tweaks and fixes, let's just go straight to advanced settings. Okay, and what I want you to do with this particular setup, and I'm gonna tell you something else after this. With this particular setups, what you have, um, well, ways with this particular ways, you have to go to cache and network presets. They don't have a quick configure anymore now. Let me see. No, they don't have that anymore. They don't have a quick configure anymore, so you would have to go to cache and network presets. And what you want to do is determine what kind of device you have. Now, if you're on a Fire TV, anything Fire TV and up, NVIDIA Shield, I would go with the high-end device. And if you're on one of them 4K Fire Sticks or Fire Stick, I would go with the low RAM device preset. That's just what I would do but it's real important here to know your device all right you got to know what your device is if you don't know what your device is get the box that the device came in and, and, and try to find some things out here all right now once you do either one of these you will get um, a prompt and tell you what to do to tell you what to do and after that's done and you reopen it you will be able to view your settings here okay You'll be able to view those. All right. Now, me personally, um, I I'm going to tell you guys what, 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 what I do. Okay. And, and this is just what I do, you know. Um, and you could take this same process if you would like. I don't really like the presets. Okay. I don't like that. So, me personally, I would just go right into um, here. And I would just go see what kind of repos I got in here. You understand what I'm saying? And maybe I could see Ezra Mac or, you know, things like that. Or, or the crew, or, you know, and get their ways. Well, I know Ezra Max is still the same. Um, who else? Who else? Even if you have Asgard or something, their, you know, their wizard allows you to fully customize it and things of that nature. One thing I did want to do, I, I saw that they didn't have this repo in here. So... There's a lot of repos in here, so they do got Azermac too. Wanted to see. Uh, Cause they don't got diamond in here. I was like, oh no diamond. I don't know what's up with that. I like to I like to do this to see what updates and what doesn't. You know, if nothing updates, I can clearly take it out. You can actually take it out even if something does update. And it is updates. Okay. Things going on. All right, uh, I mean, I don't, you know, Di shout out to Diamond too, man, because what he does, he actually keeps things up to date, man. He's really serious about that, things like that. So I always try to incorporate his repo if it's not already in there. 
And then sometimes I might do it if it's in there anyway just to update it. And that's just what I do. This is not nothing you have to do. This is just how I get there. Okay, so there's some things going on. There was some things that needed, you know, some freshening up. Not taken from the, um, not taken from it at all, though. Okay. All right. So we got the Venom Scapers updated, the Fracture Repo, and Venom. All right, on the 15th. It's all right. All right. And that's just, you know, little trick I do. All right. Now, after that, the next thing I want to take care of is my player settings. Let's go in there. I mean, for this, you want to be on expert. Right here where it says expert, you want to be on expert, all right? And I want to be here. And I want you guys to take a mental picture of the first two sections. You have actions, playback, and processing. What I'm interested in here is processing. So enable HQ scalers for scaling above. Straight up, if you're on a 4K fire stick or below, I'm recommending 20 or 30. Fire TVs, cubes, as well as your NVIDIA tubes, I'm recommending 50 or 60. And for your, um, you know, 3 gigabyte and up devices like your NVIDIA Shields and various other devices, I would recommend 100. But with this particular section right here, I would recommend you checking it each and every time you guys get it set up. Because sometimes these guys might have it tuned up and it might not be tuned up for your device. So again, get your box, get your device. If you still have the box that it came in, look on it, see what it says, see what it's capable of. And when I say three gigabytes and up, RAM, random access memory, okay? It should, it has to be on the box, all right? So like I said, get used to checking out this section and that's about it, y'all. Let's get out of here. Alexa, please don't start. Alexa, no, 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 nothing, Alexa. Right now, after we're done with that, we can go back here. But I'm really, I really want to say that theirs comes on already. Okay, and what I'm talking about is the video player input stream. Usually, you'll start up here, but I'm talking about the video player input stream. Okay, now, usually, you know, when we're dealing with digs and stuff, his stuff already come on, but um, if not, I would recommend you to. At least get your RTMP input, okay? Um, if you guys like to watch trailers and stuff like that, you will need the input stream adaptive in certain cases. Now, just don't get this type of stuff, people. I will recommend to long press on it and actually get the information, okay? You can do that to both of them. And just for future reference, the majority of times you're going to see the input stream adaptive. You won't see the RTMP input. All right, and I'm just going to show you guys just in case if you guys get to something else and you don't see the RTMP input because I need that. I mean, it, I can't I can't deal with it. I can't deal with this without it. So, you know, a lot of my subscribers know what I'm talking about, too. Um, if you want to get the RTMP input just for a future notice or another setup, what you actually want to do is go to install from repo and then all repos. And once you guys get in all repos, just go back to video player input stream and you'll see the RTMP input here. Simple and plain. And but like I said, with this particular setup, I really think that it just it was already here. So and I see quite a few repos in there. So you should if 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 it's a certain wizard you guys are are used to to write your advanced settings. I would actually, you know, try to get that and write my settings, okay? And, and I'm going to tell you guys another thing. It's really important when y'all first see that pop-up box to check the things that apply to you. That's really important. Um, and even if even if you didn't do it in the, in the, um, in, in, um, the beginning, you can always long press on the wizard and go in there and configure it the way you would like. Okay? So say like you didn't do that. You didn't do it. Right? You want to go here. And you want to go to program add-ons. 
So once you would be in program add-ons, what you would want to do is just go to the wizard here and long press on it. And then you can go to settings. So once you're in settings here, you can go to install settings, things like that, okay? And once you get to your install settings, you can keep your favorites, you can keep your advanced settings, things like that, your login data, all of this, all right? So just in case if you missed it and didn't do it, it wouldn't be that hard, all right? And I, <clears throat> did I put C-Man Wizard in here? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did put C-Man Wizard in here to write uh, the, my advanced settings because of the preset. So, you know, there's a lot of different things you guys can do when it comes down to setups. My advice would be just to learn it to the best of your ability. Try to follow along. Now, actually, they you know what's so special about this one, too? They actually came out with their own folk for something brand new and fresh. All right? Got his own folk. I am going to leave the um, file link code in the back if you want it. Um, Diggs and them, they got a pretty extensive link. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot of um, lot of joints from them that I still got. I think I got a, at least 20 just from you know the chef himself this is just his file link itself i will leave that in the back let me know how you guys like this one if you get a chance like share and subscribe but most of all comment don't forget to hit the notification bells people as always i'm hoping you're having a blessed peaceful and a productive day love and peace for all never forget it is good to be good and it is bad to be bad i'm gonna see you guys on the next one y'all peace